Hi, I'm Lance Stockhausen. And I'm Sandra Hack. And Todd Stockhausen. I guess it goes back to Wisconsin. We had a storage facility in Wisconsin. We started in 1989. We always liked the storage. Um, it's just a lot easier to manage. And we started investing down here in 1992 and liked the area when the opportunity came. Um, loved the location. It was a Walmart. All Walmarts are, you know, they do the feasibility and uh, everything kept coming back here, coming back here. All of our residents around here, and most of the people coming in, knew it when it was a Walmart, were shopped in it, knew when it was a Muscle Car City, and had watched the whole conversion process just by our location. People are back and forth to Walgreens, down the street to Home Depot. It's like, wherever you want to go in this town, you have to drive by the building. So there was all the curiosity, what's going on in there, what's it happening? So they're coming in to see see what what this place has turned out to be. By being the owners, the managers, the designers, the builders, being on site, Todd and I would jump in, take care of it, keep things on schedule, keep rolling. The biggest thing I learned in this project was keeping everybody lined up, making sure that one didn't fall off the schedule, and if he did, work hard to get back on. Todd did an excellent job with timing. The floor guy could be working in quadrant one while the painter was back in quadrant four. It was pretty incredible to see how the two of them knew so much about every trade in this whole facility. There was one day I came here, we were pouring concrete, and Todd is stretched out as far as he could go across the wet concrete with a ruler, and Lance that day was like down on the ground looking to make sure everything was level. The two of them were so hands-on, not afraid to get dirty, not afraid to work right side by side with that contractor. They probably enjoyed working with these two. I'll say with Sandra, there's no way we could have done it without her either because she was behind the scenes paperwork. So Todd and I could be just on the job, moving, moving, moving. You need that. You really need somebody behind the scenes. I was always offering the female perspective to Lance and Todd. So I had one day said, well, we need to do a drive-through. The cars need to drive inside, inside the building. There's just that sense of, it started with safety, security. I'm, I'm not outside, I'm not down a dark alleyway wondering who's coming behind me or, or what's around me. I'm inside this safe and secure building. Of course, we live in Florida, so the, the torrential downpours we have here, this drive-through is going to keep our tenants out of the rain. And as we just kept talking about it and just saying, oh, it's just going to be comfortable. They're going to come in and be comfortable. And then all of a sudden it just was like comfort storage. We're going to be comfort storage. Call Lance. Lance, what do you think about comfort storage for, for our name? So with that drive-through kind of evolved the whole sense of comfort comfortable facility, moving process, move in, and there came the name, Comfort, Comfort Storage, it stuck. We did lose net income of rental space by putting a drive through in, but we made it up by putting a mezzanine in and offering the little lockers up on top. Moving companies really love it a lot because they say, this area I can sell it easier because our truck can Pull right up to your unit, open the door, and just right straight in. The elevator is huge, so it's easy to slide a couch right in without having to stand it upright and get back out, even bringing a cart in and out. And having that mezzanine is open, having that open feel. People say, well, I want first floor, I want first floor. And we say, well, just wait a minute, come see our mezzanine. You're gonna park your vehicle right here. Here are our carts to help you. And the elevator's right here, you actually have a a less of a walk 
if you take this unit on the mezzanine versus first floor back in, in the corner. So they see the ease of accessibility here and so we're signing them up. On the RV, what we came up with was let's see what the city would allow. The city would allow outside parking, but we have to pretty much disguise it or cover it up. We put the big wall up and put more beauty into this building. So they were very happy of what we designed. So it was a win-win for both us and the city. Walmart was gonna put a 30,000 foot um, addition onto it. So it was really pretty much all graded out. And with a, with a hurricane concrete screen wall, cannot see it from 360 degrees. There is a demand and I don't feel there's really any competition. Everything we have is hurricane rated. You couldn't ask for anything better for protection of that, your investment. Working with these two has just been such an experience. And there was times through the project where I would have to tell myself, calm down Sandra, you, you have a great team, these two amazing men who, who know exactly what to do and, and they're going to solve the problem. Sometimes you take one step, two steps ahead, and then one back. Todd will come up with an idea, Sandra, and then we st you know, start bouncing everything off each other. In my eyes today as I sit, how this has, has come together and everything just working phenomenally, like, I don't know, sky's, sky's the limit in, in my eyes. It was, it was a team, team, team effort for sure.